wave is any negative reflection preceding R wave. Let's first look at the question asked on Q wave in NEET PG exam. In which condition the peculiarity in the ECG marked by arrow is seen? Now, if you see, the arrow marks a deep Q wave in inferior leads 2, 3 and AVF. 2, 3 and AVF represents the inferior leads. Also, if you see, there is a T wave inversion in these three leads. The T wave inversion is not seen in AVA lead. Both these findings actually correspond to the correct answer, myocardial infarction. You can rule out normal and complete heart block. If you see, each P wave is transmitting into a QRS complex. So, it cannot be complete heart block. As far as pericarditis is concerned, we have a complete separate lecture on pericarditis. Let's move forward and learn a little more about Q waves. As already explained, Q wave is any negative deflection preceding R wave. Now, Q waves are normally seen in most of the leads except V1 to V3. Q waves, the normal Q waves are less than 2 mm in deep. So, 2 mm is just 2 small squares. Normal Q waves will not be more than small 2 small squares. So, then we come to something called as pathological Q wave. Pathological Q wave are more than 1 mm in width or more than 0 0.04 second in width. So, if you see, even if the width of the uh, Q wave, if it is increased, it's a pathological Q wave, then also the 2 mm deep. So, if any Q wave is more than 2 mm deep, it is a pathological Q wave. And finally, if the depth of the Q wave is greater than 25% of QRS complex, then again, it is a pathological Q wave. So, these three defines pathological Q wave. Pathological Q wave is seen in current on prior MI. In many cases, prior MI, you can find the pathological Q wave. Now, let's look further. In this ECG, you can see small septal Q waves as seen in left-sided leads. So, these Q waves are small. They are not more than 2 mm in deep or more than one you know, small square in width. So, they are normal Q waves. Again, if you see in this case, there is a T wave, uh, there is a Q wave, pathological Q wave in lead 3 and AVF also associated with an elevation, ST elevation. So, this ST elevation. This again is a case of acute MI. In this case again, if you see uh, V1, V2, V3, V4, anterior Q waves are seen, you know, large Q waves. So again, this is a case of pathological Q wave, acute MI, anterior MI. You have to remember that the absence of small septal Q waves in lead V5 and V6 should be considered abnormal. The absent Q waves in V5, V6 is most commonly due to left branch bundle block. Sometimes MCQs has been asked only on this point. 